Happy Monday! Right, listen, we'll just let the last couple of people join in. Morning, Sarah. Morning, Claudia. Right. Okay. What we're going to do this morning, guys, we're going to do um, a mini circuit set. So, um, within the mini circuit set, I basically designed some weight work. There's a few things that bring in a little bit of cardiovascular time. There's a few core moves, okay? Most of the stuff is designed to do with either a set of dumbbells or a barbell. There might be a couple of moves as well, like um, squats. You can hold a kettlebell at the center position here, goblet hold. So have a few different options to hand. I will get you guys warmed up and then I will talk you through each of the circuits and then you can decide weight wise because you might want to switch as you go through the different moves, okay? So let me just, I'm just sorry, I'm gonna just straighten you guys up. There we go, that's better. Okay. Okay guys, so let's do a bit of a warm up. You're gonna start with your feet together and you're gonna roll your shoulders up, back and down. Keep pulling them right up towards the ear and back. Reset your posture, elongate the spine and waken everything up from the upper body. Keep that going and then we're going to slowly roll ourselves down into half fold position. Stay here, stretching through the lower back. And then you're going to walk your hands all the way out to high plank position and hold it into plank. From here I want you to tap as far as you can with your right arm, come back and then crawl yourself back up to standing position. Now go into your inchworms, walking out, tap, walk back and then standing nice and tall in between, stretching through the hip flexors. That's it, well done guys. Make sure that you drop the hips down in these inchworms, don't leave the hip up in the air. Well done, let's go for one more. Fantastic, well done. Set your feet nice and wide. You're going to bring your hands to heart centre, push out, pull sack. That's it, well done. So in the Cossack, you push the bum out back, but keeping the chest nice and tall. Nice, easy movement. Not too much of a push into the kneecap. Try and keep the focus on the inside thigh. That's it, well done guys. Beautiful work, well done for three, two, and one. Bring your hands down to the center and tap. Amazing work guys. You're gonna walk your feet back into hip width. Right arm forward. Super, now take it backwards. As I make sure you use both internal, external on that rotator cuff. As big as you can, guys. Well done. And then let's go other side, right arm forward, big circles. Well done. And then take it back. Brilliant. Taking your hands, relax the shoulders down, hands down to the T-shape. Small circles forward, focusing now on the lat, away from the shoulder and into the lats. That's it, well done. And then go back the way, changing direction. Super guys, and then you're going to go to this, you're going to go overhead, out, front, T, overhead, T, out, T, that's it, keep that going. Well done, relaxing the shoulders down in between. Super guys, well done for five, four, three, two, one. And let's go into some nice easy squats, mid stance position. That's it, super T, well done for three, two, and one. Okay guys, you've got mountain climbers. On the floor, you're going to do a combination of one, two, three, four mountain climbers, two plank jacks. If you do not want to jump the plank jacks, you can do one and two, okay? So four mountain climbers, two plank jacks. Ready in five, four, three, two, one. You've got 30 seconds. 
with one single kettlebell or a single dumbbell or you can go on your back okay and you can go kettlebell or barbell or dumbbells in the shoulders okay my personal advice would be to go to your back rack so weights on the back or the shoulders when we hold in the front and we're thinking about multiple reps we're kind of rushing a little bit sometimes we tend to lean forward posturally okay so the back rack helps us keep up nice and tall so on your back you'll be holding your barbell or your kettlebells here eight squats mid stance then you take it wider to sumo sumo is wider toes are out you come down for 16 pulses down here okay pushing the knees out and away that's it and then you come here up pop your weights down you've got side kicks for eight holding on to the side of a wall right leg arm out leg one eight on the right side round house kicks and then you turn around set your level set your angles and eight on the other side now if you cannot get up to that angle please do not stress about it get your leg down a little so you can kind of go here one two three four eight of there okay that's it and you can even if it is too much on the hip do one bring it down two bring it down okay so guys eight mid step squats 16 symbols and then eight roundhouse kicks right eight roundhouse kicks left are you guys ready for four minutes of course you're ready okay here we go team think about what you're using weight wise are we all happy ready three two one off we go guys eight mid squats nice and deep Yeah. 
static hold heavies. There should be a slight difference in that. Okay guys, we've got another round. We have got eight deadlifts, four good mornings, and four burpees over the barbell. Okay, who does not love a burpee on a Monday morning? So, I'm gonna give you a minute. I would like you to figure out what you want for your deadlift weight. I'm gonna quickly recap. All of you guys know by now your deadlift form, okay? But if you're new to it, if you know that you're still somebody that's working on your posture, pull the shoulders back, keep that nice strong position through the back, do not go too heavy. Even if you feel like you can pull it, okay, there's no pulling, point in pulling it from the bottom, when your back goes like this, okay, that is not how a deadlift looks. So keep safe, choose your weight guys for your deadlift, you've got eight deadlifts, and then I will show you the other ones afterwards. So let's put that to the side. you got 30 seconds or so guys to load your weights up and get yourself started. That's it. Good. And remember guys, 
if you do not have big plates on your barbell, you do not need to tap the ground. As long as you go to that lower shin level. Bit deeper, Claudia. Bit to the lower shin. Yes. Perfect. Okay, right guys. Let's get ready. Four minutes. Eight of these big ones. And then we go to the four good mornings. A little bit of a breather and a stretch before the four burpee jump overs. Okay, <clears throat> let's get us ready. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go.
Well done. And swap to the other side. Well done. Taking it back to center. Come down into half full position. Feet just wider than hips. Drop everything down. Well done. Slowly walk yourself out to plank position. In plank position, stay there for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the chest down and push up as much as you can into cobra. Well done. Looking over the right shoulder. Looking over the right left shoulder. And back to center. Come on to the knees. Push back and pull. Head down. Well done guys, coming on to all fours. Bring your right foot to your right hand. Let's go into a hip flexor stretch. Well done, sink the hips right down. And then taking the right arm up and open. Open through the chest, open through the heart. Nice big breaths. And slowly release the hand down to the floor. And you're gonna switch your legs, left foot to your left hand and sink your hips down. Take it the left hand when you're ready and open through. Nice big deep breath. Taking the hand back down to the ground. You're gonna bring yourself into squat position. Heels down, bum down. That's it, drop the head down as well. Make sure your heels are down on the ground, guys, not on your tippy toes. Open the heels wider if you need to. Good stuff. And then taking your elbows, dig your elbows into your knees and push them apart. And you can start to just spin and rotate slightly side to side. That's it, well done. And then popping your hands to the ground, you're going to lift up, slowly up from half fold, slowly coming up vertebrae by vertebrae. Good, and then bring your feet together. I want you to go side to side with the head. And then take it back to centre, go forward and back. Well done, bring your arms up overhead. I want you to elongate as much as you can. Fingertips to the ceiling, up onto your tippy toes. Lengthening your spine. Grow nice and tall, well done. And slowly release back down. Guys, thank you so much, what great energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for starting the week nice and strong. Listen, um, Wednesday, I should be normal time. Um, it might be slightly later than my normal um, time slot, depending on clients. It's just slightly different over the summer. So I will post that ahead to let you know definitely what time on Wednesday, okay? If the lunchtime doesn't suit, I will maybe just make it an early session. But please look out for the post and I will see you there. And also Friday morning, normal, early 6.50. Take care team, bye!